Hello guys, welcome to Pesivan. In this video, I will show you how to set up Aquamba mail and how you can send 2000 email per month totally for free. Guys, this is the official website of Aquamba mail and keep in mind that Aquamba mail is a Spanish company. That's why if you enter on their website, you can see here Spanish writing. In this case, if you see here Spanish writings, then scroll down in the footer here, select English. If you select here English, then you will see everything in English. If you go to their pricing plan and see they have free plan, basic plan, pro plan and enterprise plan. Anyway, you can send up to 2000 email per month using their free plan. And after that, if your number of subscriber increased, if you need more, then you can upgrade also. I will give the link of Ecombe in the description of this video. Just go check the link and come to this website. After coming this website, Click on sign up, give here your email and give here your password. After that, click on create account. It will take some time and after that you will get a window like that. If you want to send more than 2000 email per month, then you have to pay them. Otherwise, you do not have to pay them. In my case, I will cut them. After that, you will see a complete dashboard like that. This is my own dashboard that I am using. At first, we have to create list. To create list, just click on here list and click on new list. Give the name of your list here. And here write the email by which email you want to send email to your subscribers. Then select your language. I am selecting English. After that click on create. Now if you click on this list again, you will see your list has been created. This Pesivan website list I have created just now. In this list, I have zero subscribers. Click on the list. In my case, I want to keep my subscription form here. That is, I want an embedded subscription form here in my home page after learn step by step this line. To do that, go to Aquamba mail and from here, click on fields. Here, the email field has been created by default. You have to create some more field. Now what to do with this field? Suppose you have 1000 subscribers on your list. It is practically impossible to write everyone's name. That's why if you create field for name, suppose you will give the name of this field is name and then you can select text. From here you can select visible and editable. If you select visible and editable, then subscribers will be able to see and modify the value of the field. If you keep it hidden, then your subscribers will not be able to see nor modify the value of the field. If you keep it non-editable, then your subscribers will see it, but they will not be able to modify it. In my case, I want to keep it visible and editable because my subscribers have to give the name in the field. In this case, they have to edit it. After that, click on add. Now, whenever you will write the email campaign, if you give this code here, Aquamba mail will automatically send the email by calling their name. I will show it more in future in this tutorial. After that click on forms. Here in this form you have to create the form on which form you will collect your subscribers or your subscribers will give their data. Just click on here new form. Here you have to select which type of form you want. If you select classic it means it can be embedded wherever you want and if you select pop-up then it will show as a pop-up to your audience if you select sidebar then you can keep it in the sidebar of your website if you select exit intent then the pop-up will be appear to your audience whenever they are exiting your website and if you keep it side panel then you will get a form that will be displayed at the side of your website in my case as i want to embed the form here that's why i'll select classic and then you can give a name of your form here. After that, click on create. Now from this pre-designed tab, you can select your form. Suppose I want to select this one, the third one. Just select the template that you choose. And after that, you have to decide what custom message you will show your audience after they have subscribed. If you want to display any custom message, then you have to customize it or you have to select it. You can paste any HTML also or you can redirect them in a URL. Suppose you want that if anyone subscribe to your email list, you will gift them a PDF or you will redirect them on any page of your website. Then in this case, here you have to give the link of your PDF or 
you have to give the link of your page then after subscribing your subscribers will be redirected to this link in my case i want to give my subscribers a pdf but i want to send the pdf in their email i do not want to redirect them directly from my website that's why i will select display custom message and here i will give the custom message like that means if anyone subscribe to my email list they will see a message like that after that you have to select messages for the users that are already included to the list they have subscribed to your list previously in this case they will see this message you can customize it also suppose After completing your display custom message or redirect URL and the message for the previously subscribed users, then click on next. Now this is the design part. In this part, you have to design your form on which form your audience will submit their information. So guys, this is the form as you are seeing. Now you can edit this form. Suppose I will write here. I have written here want to rank your blog post here are the five steps of write a ranking blog post I want to bold it if I want to bold it I can bold it I can increase the font size from here and I can do all kind of formatting I hope you know how to do it and how to deal with it I'm not wasting your time after that we have to customize our form now in my case I want email and but I also want the name that's why if I select this form you will see this form elements and here you can add new field just click on here add new field and you can add name also here just click on name now you can drag and drop where you want to put this I want to put it at the upper of email now I do not want to show the word name here I want to show the word name as a placeholder that's why click on edit and remove it here from label write the placeholder here if you want to keep it required then toggle this button but i do not want to keep name required that's why i will not keep it on after that click on save now as you are seeing the word name is here as a placeholder similarly i will do it with the email form You have to select the type of your form from here type here you can keep checkbox you can keep date you can keep email you can keep number you can keep radio button you can also keep here phone text long text and url in my case here i will keep email and i want to keep the email as record that's why this record field will be selected after that click on save now i want to keep the form here as embedded and i want to keep it in the way that it look like it is in the same page uh, that's why i will get the color code of my website from here to do this i am using an extension its name color picker if i click here and if i keep the cursor at the place of the color it will give me the color code just click on here and copy this color code after that go to aquamba mail and i want to change this color just paste your color code here so this is the color code and also i want to change this subscribe button here click on button option and you can change the button text color button background color also to do that just change the text of this subscribe button so i have changed the text from subscribe to get your free copy as you are seeing the text has been changed so our manage field option has been done similarly you can change the color of label you can align it however you want and there have all the formatting option i hope you know and you are familiar with that how to change this familiar options i am not wasting your time by showing these options just go here in the design tab and change it there have rows also after that here in the content section you can add any image if you want anywhere you want just drag and drop the image wherever you want to keep it 
after that click on browse and then you can upload your own customized image also you can get free images by clicking here you can search here you will get images from Unsh plus pixels and pixabay anyway i have added a photo so if i insert click on insert if i click on insert then it will be added here but in my case i do not want to keep any photo that's why i'll click on this delete button it will be deleted similarly you can add button you can add divider you can add social buttons also here you can add icons and you can add video also here as you are seeing the video has been embedded just keep the url of your video here your video will be embedded here you can change the type of video here you can keep it embedded you can keep your video as only thumbnail here or you can keep it as embedded or you can keep it as hosted video and you can do many other things you can hide on desktop or you can hide on mobile and many more things you can do in my case i do not want any video i do not want to keep any icon and i do not also keep any social icons here so this is the way how you can design your form after designing your form click on next To set up Aquambamil with your website, at first you have to connect your website with Aquambamil. To do that, go to the backend of your website. This is the backend of my website and from here go to plugins and click on add new. Here search Aquambamil. From here, install this Acombomil plugin. Just click on install now. And then activate it. After activating the Acombomil plugin, you will get a new option in the left hand side. This is the option Acombomil. Just click on here Acombomil. Here in this form, you have to give an auth token. Now, why have to get this auth token? To get the auth token, just click on in this hair button. As you are seeing, there is a link. Just click on this link. After clicking on the link of here, you will get an auth code. Just copy this auth code from here and paste the auth code here in this auth token. After pasting the auth code, just click on save changes. After that, it will ask you the name of your list on which list you want to keep your subscribers. So select your list from here as you have seen that we have created Passiveern website list for this website that's why I will select this Passiveern website list. After that click on save changes. Now you have to select the form. We have created the form Passiveern homepage embedded from previously I am selecting it. If you have multiple form created then you will see all your form here and you have to select the form after that again click on save changes now our website has been connected with aquamba mail after that we have to go to again list and from here select the list for your website i'm i'm showing you this list passive earn website i will click on this passive earn website list from here again go to form and then click on the form you have created Now you have to integrate this form with your website. Keep in mind that at first you have to connect your website with Acombamil and then you have to integrate your form in your website. Now what you have to do to integrate your form in your website. Here Acombamil is guiding that you have to copy and paste this code in your website before closing the body. So I am copying this code from here. After that go to the back end of your website. To insert the code you have to use any inserting plugin in my case i will use this plugin insert header and footer for wp beginner you can use any alternative of this plugin if you want 
I have searched as insert in my plugin section and I have got in this plugin here insert header and footers by WP beginners. I will install this and then I will activate it. After installing and activating your plugin, go to the settings of your website and here you will get an option named insert header and footers. Here Acombo mail says that you have to keep this code before closing the body. That means you have to copy it and then you have to keep it in the body section. So just paste it here. I have pasted it after that click on save. Now the next guidance is paste this code wherever you want the form to appear on your website. So we have to copy this code and paste this code where we want to keep this form. In my case, I want to keep this form here. That's why I have come here. In your case, you have to go to the place where you want to put this form. Then if you use Elementor, then you have to click on edit with Elementor or whatever is your website builder. Just go to your website builder. If you see the code of Acomba mail, this is div ID. This is a HTML code. That's why after copying this code, you have to keep the HTML code at the place where you want to keep the form. In case of Elementor, I will search your HTML. I will drag this HTML element at the place where I want to keep the form. After that, I will paste the HTML here. After pasting the HTML, I will just click on update. After updating, if I go to my home page, let's see what happened. See the form has been placed at this place. So guys, this is the way how you can embed a form from a combo mail in your website. Now, if anyone submit their email here in this place and click on get your free copy, what will happen after that? We will set up this setting right now. Go to your combo mail. After that, click on your list. In my case, the list is specific on website. I will click on here. That means you have to go inside your list again. So now I am inside my list passive and website from here go to notifications here in this notification section we will set up what to do after subscriptions that means if anyone subscribe here in this form what happen later in my case he will get an email from me now what will be the look of your email by default it is like that but you can customize it click on here confirmation mail you can keep the confirmation mail on or off if you keep it off then your subscriber will not get any confirmation email. The email will be stored in your email list automatically. But if you keep it on, then your subscriber will get an email like that. After that, they will have to click on this button. Yes, I would like to sign up. Then the email subscription will be confirmed. And after that, the email will be stored on your email list. Now it's up to you what you want to do. In my case, what I want to do in my case, if anyone submit his email here he will get a free copy in his email now what to do for this i'll set up the subject of my email like that so it will be like that get your free copy one more step it will be the subject line of the email and here in this title i will keep So it will be like that please confirm to get your free copy and also you can change the description here suppose i will give for myself like that So this is my description in your case you have to you should write the description depending on your business and depending on your goal after that you can also change the button text here suppose i will write so this is my button text and after that you have to click on save then it will be saved you can also change the colors from here if you want just click on here global value and you can change your logo from here. 
my logo is uploading as you are seeing here this is the this is the process of changing logo you can change the background colors also you can click on button color here and from here you can change your button color as you wish in my case i will give the button color like that Similarly, you can change the content color, background color, and text color. I'm not changing anything else. After that, there have another option, new subscriber notification. If you, if you want to get notification every time you go to a subscriber, then keep it on. But in my case, I'll keep it off. So this is the process of designing your confirmation email. After that, you have to design your confirmation page. Now, what is confirmation page? Confirmation page is if anyone click on this button, then where they will be redirected this is the confirmation page so you have to design this confirmation page this is the confirmation page as you are seeing this is your logo and this is thank you for subscribing you have correctly subscribed to the mailing list you can cancel your subscription at any time you can add any button here also in my case i want to gift my subscriber a pdf or i want to redirect them on any url now how to gift this special pdf or url to do that you have to give a text on this button text you have to click on confirmation page then you can customize here the description and the title after that to redirect them on any url or to gift them any pdf you have to give a button text here give the link of your special url or your gift that is here you have to keep the link of your gift if you want to give your subscribers any gift and if you do not want to give your subscribers any gift then you do not need to give this button text but in my case i'll give a button text here and then i'll give a pdf link here i'm copying my pdf link from here and pasting the pdf link here this is my pdf link that means if anyone click on this download your copy button he will be redirected to this link and which is basically a pdf link and then from here he can download the pdf after that click on save and then you can change the global values if you want that means you can change the logo you can change the content colors the background colors the button colors and the text colors in my case i will keep as it is and after that you have to design the unsubscribe page just click on this unsubscribe page button and from here similarly you can change the text and designs of your unsubscribe page by default it is like that and click on this unsubscribe page and then you can change this text you can change the title from here and if you want to display the reasons for unsubscription that means select the region here the people who want to unsubscribe on your website they have to say their reason if you want to display it then keep it display and if you do not want to display it then then keep it hide in my case i want to keep it display and after editing everything click on save so guys our confirmation email confirmation page and unsubscribe page has been set up